inventor Ernest Andrews Innovation largely aims to save money villagers spend in buying torches and batteries to light their homes. After realizing that we were facing a lot of problems without using electricity, I thought of trying to make electricity. Now here we are. The 18-year-old secondary school dropout says his generator produces 1,000 volts of electricity. He has now connected nine houses from a self-made transformer. This system generates electricity using air. To make a light bulb illuminate, I use power stored in bottles. I experiment with magnetic power to determine how much electricity I can produce. After that, I generate power based on the number of houses I want to supply. But experts complain of Andrew's failure to articulate how he is using air to generate electricity, or they say he might be purposely concealing it to prevent others from coping. What type of air is he using? We don't know. What air is doing to produce the power? We don't know. And he's not saying. How is he taking the air into his system to produce uh, electricity? We don't know. And he's not explaining. So how can we appreciate? How can we assist as engineers? Katumba said if he proved real, Andrew's innovation would be rated among the most extraordinary in the world. The innovation has convinced skeptical neighbors. I was among those who were doubting his ability to generate electricity, which we can use in our homes. But when I saw that he had managed to connect his parents' house, that's when I asked him to connect my house too. Now life is simple. The villagers use the free electricity to charge phones and plug in electric shaving machines. Andrew's mother, Evelyn Chinguo, says he dropped out of school in 2018 because of lack of school fees. I am appealing to well-wishers to assist this boy to continue with his education, like sending him back to school to improve his innovative ideas because the knowledge he is using now is inborn. Minister of Energy Ibrahim Matola recently expressed appreciation of the invention. Such innovations can make us achieve access to electricity. But not only access, affordability, sustainability. Authorities in Idowa district donated training, electric wires, protective wear, and a gadget for measuring electricity voltage. One thing that we're going to do as a district uh, to make sure that he's, uh, whatever he's doing when he, he's working on uh, the appliances is safe. The Malawi government has organized a group of experts and identify areas to assist. In the meantime, Andrew is working to connect the entire village and fulfill the government's request to illuminate the nearby public primary school. Lamek Masina, VOA News, Lower District, Malawi.